Hey everybody, I just want to apologize before the start of this video for the audio quality. A package came in a few weeks ago that kept getting postponed and I was super excited to get into it and share it. I didn't plan the video out. I just grabbed my camera, pressed record, and opened the package in my kitchen. I have tried to clip and minimize the unboxing noises wherever possible. And since this video is unplanned, this month there will be two videos. I intend to drop the planned video in about a week or so. Anyways, enjoy. Uh, excuse the audio recording. I'm not doing this off of a script or anything like that. Um, but something came in and I'm really excited to break into it. Now, when I had gone on Crowd Supply, I would gotten four things. A prototyping board, which is not really anything special. The two driver boards, which uh, one of which I've made a video on, the other I will be making a video on. And lastly, I've gotten this, and this finally came in. This was the only one I had done that was a pre-order. This is the Icebreaker FPGA. Now, I've, I've been waiting for this for a long time. It kept getting postponed. But part of the reason why it got postponed was because they had trouble sourcing some of the components for it and getting everything manufactured. Now, if anybody's been on Adafruit, they've seen this hookup before and this ribbon, uh, ribbon connector here. And that is for this piece here, which is ultimately what ended up holding the whole thing up. Ooh, that's tight. Really tight. This is an RGB matrix, uh, RGB LED matrix array. And you can see, just like the ones that you would get from Adafruit, you've got the four, po uh, four pin power connector, two power, two ground, and then the daisy chain uh, headers. So you can attach multiples of these. Now, one thing though, this is the pixel density is a lot denser than what you would get with Adafruit. And this is what ultimately held this up. Uh, some of the other backers who didn't go with the LED panel ended up getting theirs sooner, which is good for them. But the rest of the kit comes with, because I ended up getting the everything package, because I have not dealt with FPGAs before. And I, I would like to. I've been waiting to open this thing for so long. Uh, I guess we'll start with the actual board here. Looks like we have a mess of headers here. A couple of right angle ones. And then the actual board itself. Now, I do not know what any of this really is. I've got to see if I can find some documentation on the website or something like that. Again, I've never dealt with FPGAs before. I don't even know how accessible the tool chain is to be able to do anything with it. But hopefully in a future video, I'll actually... Well, no, no, not hopefully. In a future video, I will be doing a more in-depth examination of this. Because I like the idea of what FPGAs can do. And then some of the things that I've gotten for it are... This, which pertains to HDMI signal. I believe you can use it to either send out an HDMI signal or you can use it to receive. Uh, an HDMI signal. But it looks like Lattice. Is that another FPGA manufacturer? I think they are. It looks like it might have its own FPGA on it, but 
that'll be another one uh, for, for another video. Looks like fan merch. And then these two here. These are probably where I'll be starting with it mostly. Um, this is something that really every development kit that you experiment with should have in it. Some kind of input and some kind of output. Obviously what you can do with these is pretty limited but these really give you, I like these because they give you a good way to get into the interface that you're using. Now, like I said, going forward I will be looking to make an actual video on this but I couldn't wait to actually really get into this and open it up. I've, I've been sitting on this for about three weeks now hoping to get 15 consecutive minutes to get a, uh, get a chance to record this. So yeah, till next time.